India boasts of cultural diversity. In the present times, there is a lot of talk about saving our culture from the Western influences and preserving it for the future generations. I always wondered if we could actually save culture. Like anything else in this world, evolution is a key to existence. So if we preserve the culture according to the traditional definitions, we might be actually destroying it. With this fear, I wanted to know the whole issue of the preservation of culture, and most importantly, what culture means to various people. Culture means... Uh... Culture means... Culture, the way I'm, I've been brought up, you know, the way I live my day-to-day -day life, that's my culture of living. Apni bhasha, apni sanskriti, har tarah se apni language, wahi hai hamari sanskriti, hamari culture. Basically, it did not depend upon our, our dresses and our makeup things. Just what we are behaving to others is known as culture. Culture of our ancestors is to love everybody and uh, to make respect to any religion and uh, to between peoples. So I think that culture is uh, that only on respect and love. Culture for me is sticking to your roots, knowing what you are and, and uh, knowing so your, your roots have to be clear in your mind. Culture is something which, you know, which, which you're taught from childhood and it stays within you. I mean, you know, you are somewhere back down in your, you know, deep down in your mind, you know, this is how it is supposed to be. And, you know, these are the set of, this is, these are the set of family backgrounds you come up with and all. So that is a small feeling in the back of your head saying that, dude, this is where we are coming from. Culture means that our tradition is related to our culture. We have to keep it filtered. It means that we can keep it in dance and movement. And we can keep it in a good formality. Uh, basically, everywhere, women has first to look after family. That's uh, Indian culture, basically. But today, it's a day of uh, technology that women also take up career. And they manage both career and family well. So over here, it's still the male-dominated society. You know, we make, the, we make the decisions, we make the rules for our convenience. We don't consider the other part. Okay? So... Like, you know, if, if, a, if a guy comes home late, 11 o'clock, no, it's good, no, no big deal. Same, same thing happens with the girl, if she works and come home late, comes home late, then uh, she's considered bad. So that is, you know, that is one of the many things which is happening over here. So this is bad, okay? Now in the Western, it's not like that. So you can, you can actually accept that. You, you should not accept everything. There are, there are lots of negative things over here, uh, there also. We think that Western countries, Western people, European people, they are better than us. They have come up, they, their lifestyle is better. So we want to adopt that. So that is one of the reasons. Now whether it is television or it is internet or whatever, people want to follow them. And this is not even dependent on, on India. All other countries who feel that they are not very good, they are following Western culture, they are following West, Western countries. Like, it's quite advanced society these days, especially in the metropolitan cities. Uh, and, uh, and it is uh, good. It's a mixture of uh, Western culture, plus we have our own traditional values. So, like, it's a mixture of both these things at the time. And so it's a very good combination, I feel. Because, like, people, uh, people are very much rooted to the ground. At the same time, they know how to, do, uh, how to deal with the other aspects of, uh, from every corner of the world. But I do find when I, whenever I'm back home, I feel a bit difficult there, out there, because like for me, that, uh, that uh, way of living is somewhat orthodox out, from out here. But still I do manage uh, the way I live out here. Whenever I go back to my home place, I do change my ways, even my dressing sense, I, I get it changed. So like uh, we have to do that, a balance between this traditional and this modern culture in order to live in uh, this uh, society. Parents are okay. I don't know how they deal with the whole thing, but people of our generation need to deal with it in a more mature way than being very harsh with the older generation as well. So it's about finding a balance instead of uh, breaking either party. And I think we're doing a good job, fairly good job. I know why my parents restrict me or wherever they do restrict me. And if I want something to happen beyond them, 
I'd never mind starting up an argument. If I stop asking them or if I stop arguing with them, I have to just give up all my ambitions and dreams. So if I want something to happen, I should talk. I should make my way through it. I think the start should be made by the parents. They should realize that as their child grows up, he will have opportunities outside their area of control, area of influence. So once they recognize that, they would be able to mold their child in such a way that wherever he or she goes, he keeps with himself a certain set of values which the parents have given. And if those set of values are strong enough, then wherever the child goes, these he will not sort of deviate from the path which he thinks is correct. I have lost my culture. Tomorrow I have a kid and uh, he or she will grow up in another, say, 15, 20 years. The kind of lifestyle I have, I don't know when my... Fest there are several festivals across India, right? So I have my own festivals. I don't remember when those, uh, those festivals are. I, I will not be able to tell my kid that this is your festival, you have to celebrate it. So as a parent, I don't think so. I would be able to, to give him proper, uh, say, cultural heritage. I don't think that uh, we know exactly what the culture is. Mostly we ascribe ourselves to cultures that are given to us by people in power, by uh, things that are, that are easy to follow. Yeah. But I think currently it's, there's a lot of people who are saying this is not our culture. Our culture is something completely different. I mean, what's written in the books, what's written here, what's written there is not what we do. What we do is our culture. And that's what we have to pass on. And I think more and more culture is becoming imbued with morality, with ethics, with some fun. I think it's good. I think Indian youth is now thinking of getting its own identity. You know, there was time few years before when we can say that Indian youth was very highly westernized and influenced by Western and all. But right now, I think the tide is turning. Right now, people are talking about India. People are talking about we having our own identity and we are very proud to be an Indian. So it's not that we sort of love everything that is Western. We know our values, we know our culture, and we respect that. And we know India has its own place in the world economy right now. And so we don't, we don't sort of see wasting away our treasures of culture for just for some, something Western. So we are intelligent enough, smart enough to see what is good for us, what is good for the society, what is good for our future generations, and make our choices accordingly. This generation is very money-minded. That's what I would do. Very materialistic. But it's not that if you money, if you have, if you want money, you avoid your uh, culture and you avoid your parents. No, we can stay together. Life is changing, so we have to change with the changing times. What that's that's that? a part of life. Uh, you often have a choice between uh, this uh, money and uh, your uh, interests and all. But uh, that's that depends on you uh, on how you balance things. That is what matters. That depends. That's a that's a totally personal issue. Do you really think our culture is at stake? That's what I'm no, no it is not. not. No. no, it's still there, happens, still intact. No, we'll still have that curd rice and sambar rice, whatever pizza burger comes in. Exactly, you know, it's we'll still, always like that. no matter how many, how many, you know, you like uh, chicken pizzas or whatever, still you go to a hotel, you have a dinner, you have dosa, a masala dosa. Otherwise, you won't digest food. Uh, you, you will not be satisfied. Satisfied. That's the way of life. That's how you You cannot live. change yourself, uh, no matter whatever it is. Indian youth today is going through a period of transition. They are living along with an older generation which believes in a traditional idea of culture. Some of the youth have submitted themselves to the so-called preservation of culture and some have made it a habit to break the notion of culture by living a life, not their own. However, India has been so far fairly successful in constantly putting up the balancing act.